Lighting is one of the most important elements of any visual representation that a human eye could perceive visually. Now lighting in 3D is a critical part of creating hyper-realistic 3D scenes. But to create a great lighting setup in Blender, you need to have a lot of experience. But today, I'm going to show you an add-on that helps you create high quality lighting with a click of a button. And the add-on is called Physical Starlight and Atmosphere. And Physical Starlight and Atmosphere is a complete volumetric procedural sky, sunlight and atmosphere simulator for Blender. It has been actively perfected for over 10 years already and since its release, it has been the go-to lighting tool for many independent artists to highly skilled professionals and studios. It was created by three professional lighting artists working at NASA, Turtle Rock Studios and 343 Industries and all of them have more than a decade of experience with atmosphere rendering techniques in the computer graphics industry. Physical starlight and atmosphere add-on is used in entertainment, film, automotive, aerospace, and architectural visualization industries. This add-on saves hours that usually are invested in manually creating skies, atmosphere, and placing sun objects and stars. The add-on automates that within a single click. Also, a total of 10 presets are included and these presets allow you to store a snapshot of customized atmosphere settings and return to it later or use already predefined presets provided by the add-on. Also, PSA add-on is highly customizable. It uses procedural method of creating the atmosphere based on many tweakable parameters so that the sky color is not limited only to the earth atmosphere. It has a lot of other features and advantages like visually accurate mathematical models made for PBR and HDR workflow, high dynamic range and the ability to use with tone mapping, earth shadow, it can simulate conditions at any altitude and sunlight, sky and fog can share the same parameters. It loads and renders faster HDRI textures and it uses a small memory footprint. Now there are a lot of lighting add-ons out there, but what makes PSA special is that it offers you unlimited customization possibilities, it's not tied only to the earth atmosphere like other sky models, but lets you make even alien landscapes in a binary star system. Also lighting is procedurally calculated based on real world physics, therefore even your craziest input values will offer physically correct lighting. And the crazy thing is that all of this is calculated in real time, so it works in EV just as well as in cycles. One special feature PSA has is volumetrics. Unlike HDRIs that are basically spheres around the scene, the sky of the add-on fills your blender scene with air or any gas of your liking, where density at the ground level is highest and in space is lowest. Then a star illuminates the air using physical laws, suns and skylights is dominating light sources for outdoor and most of the time indoor as well. PSA does not only make the sky and atmosphere, it simulates the sun object scattering through the atmosphere as well. Now in this video I'm going to show you a new blender add-on from the creators of the famous add-on physical starlight and atmosphere. And this new add-on has a 50% sale right now because it's still in the alpha stage. But if you get it now, further updates are going to be free. And the add-on is called Physical Celestial Objects. And Physical Celestial Objects let you create physically accurate planets on a real scale with just few clicks. Celestial Objects are ray-traced analytical spheres. This rendering approach is less prone to precision errors at extreme large distances and immense scales. They also interact with each other, cast penumbra shadows and contribute to indirect light. Now the add-on gives you a lot of options and features to create the best planet you can in Blender. It gives you the ability to scale up your planet using real world measurements and distances without having to worry about precision loss Z lighting and shadow distances. It comes with cinematic atmosphere which is built with a multi-layer system in mind. 
You can individually assign properties to each layer to build your own unique atmospheres. The physically based ray marsher takes care of mixing it all together. The add-on also features procedural rings and these planetary rings can be customized to build eye-catching worlds. Rings interact with the atmosphere and the planet surfaces as well as gas shadows and indirect light. And talking about shadows and lighting, the planet surface lighting model is based on HAPE BRDF which is specially designed for celestial bodies. It offers physically accurate ray traced soft shadows. Also physically accurate ray traced soft shadows are casted from the planets and also indirect light bounces from lit parts of the planet. Also the devs improved bump maps that brings extra detail to the planet. Also the add-on is calculated in word node shader that automatically acts as environment light and eliminates your scene without having to add fake lights manually. The add-on also offers intuitive planet positioning because when you work in celestial sizes, intuitive positioning is a must. You can position planets using orbital, global or viewer transform. Now one of the main advantages of this add-on is that it saves hours that usually are invested with solving issues that comes up when you decide to create planetary scale worlds. The add-on is created by three experienced artists with decades of experience working in NASA and other big studios. And they have a lot of experience working on atmosphere rendering techniques in the computer graphics industry. Now if you want to check out this add-on, link is in the description. Tell me in the comments below what do you think about this add-on. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.